we completely shattered the old 30 million block barrier of Minecraft. We found out that not only can you generate terrain all the way out to the 32-bit integer limit of blocks, but all of the terrain out to that point is completely solid. Fascinating. So naturally, the next question that was thrown my way was, well, how high or low is Minecraft? You should try teleporting super high or super low. What are the other limits to be had? And at first, I didn't think I'd be able to find enough information to make a video about this, but given my luck with just messing around with stuff and it just breaking, I I tried it out, and as it turns out, there's actually a lot of interesting information to cover here. So let's get into it. So for the majority of this video, I'll be using commands to see how far up Minecraft goes. But for those who want to mess around with this, the fastest way to go up without teleporting is to summon a minecart riding a firework that almost never despawns and then you hop into the minecart before it gets going. Kind of fun. But alright, let's get into it. So the answer to how high Minecraft is seems like a pretty easy one to answer, aside from the obvious that the building limit of Minecraft as well as the highest point that blocks will even render is 256 blocks up, and no, I can't change that without some really extensive modding that I don't know how to do, it seems like finding the answer is as simple as just teleporting as high as I can go before the game crashes or something. Unfortunately, however, the default limit for teleporting upwards with a command is 4096 blocks. And fixing this wasn't as simple as just changing one piece of the source code to a number like the 32-bit integer limit, which is the highest number that Java will allow me to set this number to. The reason that this isn't good enough is that the Minecraft world doesn't crash above the 32-bit integer limit. So what can we do about this? Well, after tinkering around with the source code for a bit, I found out that if I set the 4096 teleport height limit to zero in the source code, then the game just didn't impose a teleport height limit at all. Great. So the first thing that I did was immediately teleport above the 32-bit integer limit, or just over 2.147 billion blocks. And yeah, that works fine, which makes sense. No new chunks are even attempting to generate up this high because Minecraft's height limit is 256 blocks. So there's no reason for the game to crash. When I'm up this high, I can still freely move around, fall downwards and all that. But one interesting thing to note is this is the height where the world border stops functioning. In this example, I have the world border only 50 blocks end to end, which I can surpass once I go higher than the 32-bit integer limit. So that's cool. What else is there? Well, the next number I immediately tried was the 64-bit integer limit, which is over 9 quintillion, and no crash. But I can't freely move around anymore, so what gives with that? Well, let's take a step back and figure this out. While I'm not entirely sure why these numbers are what they are, I have all of the answers for the height limits of Minecraft. The height limit for manually moving around with your WASD keys in Minecraft is 2 to the 52 blocks up and down. Anything higher than positive 2 to the 52 or lower than that number of blocks below the world and you can't manually move around anymore. However, you can still fall while exceeding either of these limits. Losing the capability to fall downwards only goes away at 2 to the 55 blocks up and down. From that point, the only way that you can move around is to teleport. And what might you ask is the teleporting limit for Minecraft? Well, it's the real highest number that 